It's been a rough week. My wife has been working a lot, and the longer she works, the longer I work. So by the time 8, 9 o'clock rolls around, I just want to sit on the couch and watch reruns of Gilmore Girls and have a Michelob Ultra. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, okay. I'm going to go with it. But tonight, I'm not drinking. I'm building a box. And this box is going to be used in a mid-century sofa table. Check it out! We're going to be using two 1x12x8s for the main box, and we're going to cut two of those at 58 inches and four of them at 6.5 inches. Two go on the end, and the other two can go wherever you want. Dream, baby. Dream. The design also calls for four hairpin legs at 22 inches long. Because it is 10 o'clock, and I like my neighbors, they're good people. I like my children, they're good people. I'm gonna make all my cuts by hand, which could be a disaster, but that's what we're gonna do. So let's do it. I'm using just a single clamp, a combination square, and my Ryoba handsaw to make these cuts. General rule of thumb when you're using hand tools is to cut outside of your line. That way, if you have to take a little bit of material off with a sander or a chisel, you're good. Whereas if you go over, you're screwed. You're done. You're the worst. I think what I'm going to do is use a sanding block and just take this sixteenth of an inch off. Here we go. Measure out 58 inches on each side and then use your combination square to square it up. And make your second cut. I think we all can learn a valuable lesson from what we just witnessed. I am the worst. Well, we know which side's going in the back now. Lucky for me, a storm rolled through and almost lost power, so I called it quits for the night and made the rest of my cuts on the miter saw. <laughs> it was Mother Nature's way of telling me to stop. I'm marking about an inch to three quarters of an inch off of each end, and that's where I'm gonna put all of my pocket screws. The reason I'm only using pocket screws on one side is because my drill won't fit inside the box once it's constructed. So we're just gonna face screw the other side. Measure out 19th and 1 8th of an inch and 38th and 1 8th of an inch. And that's where we're gonna line up our center dividers. Make sure to use your combination square because we don't want these things to be crooked. It's embarrassing. Your parents are already disappointing you. You don't really need to add anything to that if you know what I mean. Apply glue to the bottom of the first end piece and then we're going to screw it with an inch and a quarter pocket screws. I'm using these pocket hole plugs and I'm gonna cut them down so that they fit into the three quarter inch holes. It's just gonna save me time when I go to fill in the holes with wood filler. Uh, instead of two to three coats of the wood filler, I can just pop these things in. So I'm just going to cut off like a quarter of an inch with my handsaw. Next, I'm gonna throw some wood filler on just to make sure it's all level and flat. And then I'll sand this down before I paint. For the inside of my mid-century modern sofa table, I'm going to be using this Valspar chalky finish paint. I want the inside to be white and the outside to be stained. I'm painting this beforehand because if you've ever tried to paint inside a box, it's awful. Daddy, Daddy, I wonder why I can't work and up there and beating me want to buy and beating me want to buy this thing and want to buy can't work. Gosh. Well, I better get in there. You need me? Uh huh. Okay. I need you. Okay. Right, here I come.
Like I said earlier, we're going to face screw the other board. I don't have any countersink bits, so I'm just using the largest bit I have so that I can sink the screw past the wood and then cover it with wood filler. We're going to glue up all the tops of our dividing and end pieces and then lay the bottom board on top. I'm using two clamps to make sure I get everything all lined up. As you can see, the board has bowed. It was not like this yesterday. <laughs> um, had I known it was bowed, I would actually flip it over so that I could drill into the bow. Um, and I think that would be a little bit easier for me. But um, yeah, this is, I already painted the inside, so it's too late. Grab a smaller drill bit and pre-drill into your big hole so that we don't crack the end piece. And then drive an inch and a quarter screws in. Next up, we're gonna attach the middle dividers and it's basically the same process, uh, just in the center part of the table. After these are all attached, I'm going to fill all of these holes with wood filler. And then I'm gonna sand it down and then I'm gonna give it another coat and sand that down and then I'm gonna stain. got these 24 inch hairpin legs from my friends at hairpinlegs.com. They rush shipped them to me over the holiday uh, last week. They're based out of Columbus and I'm in Cincinnati so they really did me a solid. We're not actually friends. I don't know why I said that. Uh, we're friendly. I appreciate what they did for me. Perhaps one day we'll be friends with benefits. Huh? But uh, for today, I'm just gonna use these legs. Uh. <laughs> okay. Because it's so late, I made coffee, so I'm going to be up like all night. Whatever. It's really humid. Um, super disgusting. Mm -hmm.